Hey everybody, here we are for my thoughts on the fifth Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movie, the 1936 film Follow the Fleet, also starring Randolph Scott and Harriet Hilliard Nelson. On this movie, Fred plays Bake Baker, a former dancer who's joined the Navy. In San Francisco on leave, he runs into his old dance partner, Sherry Martin, Ginger Rogers, at the nightclub where she works. He gets her fired, hoping to get her a better job, but his leave is canceled that night. Meanwhile, his shipmate, Bilge Smith, Randolph Scott, meets Sherry's sister, Connie, as played by Harriet Hilliard. Now, he likes her, but she is a little too marriage-minded for him, so he goes with her divorced friend, Mrs. Iris Manning, Astrid Alwyn. Now, while the fleet is away, Connie tries to repair her father's old ship in the hopes that the Bilge will be the captain. When the fleet returns, Bake tries to help Sherry, but unintentionally causes her, her to fail her audition for a big producer. And Bilge tries to avoid Connie. But when Connie can't pay off her ship, they recruit Bake to put on a show. Now, as far as my own personal opinion is concerned, with this movie has two points in its favor. One, it's an Astaire and Rogers movie, and two, music by Irving Berlin. This movie includes songs such as We Saw the Sea, Let Yourself Go, Get Thee Behind Me Satan, I'd Rather Lead a Band, But Where Are You, I'm Putting All My Eggs in One Basket, and Let's Face the Music and Dance. Now with Let Yourself Go, I'm left with the feeling that they expected this song to be a hit. I mean, it's used multiple times in the movie, starting with Ginger singing at a nightclub, Followed pretty shortly by it being used as music for a dance contest that she and Fred dance to. And it's used yet again when she auditions for a theatrical producer, both with her singing it and also doing a tap solo. Which, as far as I know, will end up being her only tap solo in the ten movies she made with Fred. And of course, several of the characters are singing and humming it throughout the movie. So if you do, don't like that song, I do have to admit that might make it a little hard to like this movie. Then there's a song, I'd Rather Lead a Band. This is Fred's big tap solo for the movie, and he is joined partway through by a chorus of sailors. He drills them, utilizing different tap steps. Fun idea, and one that will be used by other dancers later, including Ann Miller in the 1954 movie, Hit the Deck. But the highlight of this movie is the song, Let's Face the Music and Dance. This movie is lasting song. Done kind of as a show within a show, it gives Fred his only moment in the movie in his iconic tuxedo. Of course, it always impresses me what they did here, especially since Ginger wore a bead dress that may have, may have weighed about 50 pounds. Whether exaggeration or not, I don't know. But it, uh, when they started to dance, one of her sleeves hit Fred in the face and knocked him for a loop in the first take. Considering that that take was what they used in this movie, I can only say how... Uh, Amazing the, just how well rehearsed he was. Of course, the way that this routine was filmed is definitely how I prefer dance to be filmed since the dance was filmed with within one take. No edits or, or camera changes, not to mention the fact it was full body shots, allowing us to see them dance the whole time. But like I say, that's just the way I prefer it. And as you can tell, I really like this movie and I do highly recommend it. I would Personally, rank it about maybe third of the Saren Rogers movies, but that is partly because I really like Irving Berlin's music. So maybe my opinion is biased because of that, but I do recommend it just the same. And of course, keep an eye out for a young and blonde Lucio Ball. Now this movie is available on DVD from Warner Home Video and is about one hour and 50 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have for this one, everybody. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep coming back for more.